The overall goal of this procedure is to induce hypoxia in cell culture. This is accomplished by first culturing cells in the presence of a chemical inducer of inducible factor I hypoxia by culturing the cells in a hypoxia incubator or chamber filled with a special gas mixture. Next, hypoxia is detected by verifying the level of HIF1-alpha expression in protein cell extracts or by measuring its activity using a vector encoding for HIF1-alpha binding sequences. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show an increase in HIF1-alpha expression levels and activity through Western blotting and luminescence detection. My name is Danny Wu. I'm a postdoc in the lab of Patricia Yunda. Today, I will be demonstrating this procedure. To induce hypoxia with cobalt chloride, begin by preparing a 25 millimolar stock solution of cobalt chloride in sterile double distilled water. Add the solution to cells in culture at a final concentration of 100 micromolar. Incubate the cells for 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide. To induce hypoxia using a modular incubator chamber, prepare at least two identical cell cultures. However, a triplicate of each condition is recommended. Open the modular incubator chamber by first opening the two white plastic clamps located on the tubes attached to the chamber and remove the lid and trays. Place the